let's uh, consider how we interpret coefficients in a regression when we've transformed the explanatory variable and uh, done the transformation to make the regression be non-linear. So the explanatory variable has been transformed. There's the squares, there's the, it's the log function. Um, we've already seen before that we can uh, consider a regression with a squared term where we take the x uh, variable and, and we square it and we see that when we plot the resulting regression line where we have x1 on the x-axis and the outcome y on, on, the, on the vertical axis that when we plot that regression line the estimated regression line, it'll look something like that. That is, it, it will no longer be a straight line. Instead, it'll be a curve. It'll be nonlinear, and that might fit the data better than a straight line. Obviously, in this case, a straight line would fit this data very poorly. The curve does a much better, better job. Um, also worth remembering, when we estimate uh, a line, for example, uh, y equals 10 plus 5 x1 plus 0.1 x1 squared, we can always uh, plot uh, the data and calculate what the uh, expected value is of y here. So for x equals 5, we would plug the 5 in here, and then we would plug 25 in here, uh, and so we would have... Uh, 10 plus 5 times 5 is uh, 25, so that's 35. And then 0.1 times the square of 5, which is 25, so 0.1 times 25 is 0.25. So we have uh, 35 plus uh, 2.5, which is 37.5. And if uh, x1 is 8, then we plug 8 in there. We have uh, uh, 5 times 8 is 40, plus 10 is 50. Uh, the square of 8 is 64, so that would be, when multiplied by 0.1, would be 6.4, so we have y is equal to 56.4. So now we want to consider a different uh, transformation. Instead of adding a squared term, we want to take the log of x, and when I say the log, I mean the natural log, base e, uh, and create a new variable uh, that we include in the regression, and that new variable is just the log of x. So we estimate this uh, equation, y equals alpha plus beta, times the log of, of x. And we might estimate that, and we get some uh, regression output like, like this, y equals 4 plus 1.2 times the log of x. Again, we might uh, consider different values of x and, and plot them. So if x is equal to 10, then uh, we take the log of x, uh, we multiply it by 1.2, we add 4 to that, and we'll get uh, 6.8. Uh, if x is equal to 40, we take the log of that, uh, we multiply by 1.2, uh, we add 4. How do we take the log of, of 40? Well, we just go into Excel and, uh, and tell Excel to calculate that. Uh, we can use a calculator. Um, so these are things that... Uh, that we have to basically use an electronic device to calculate the log of these numbers because uh, we're not going to know them by uh, by heart and we're not going to calculate them by, by hand. So the, if we have x equals 100, uh, we take the log of that, multiply by 1.2, and uh, add 4, we get 9.5. So if we graph this a relationship, we get uh, a relationship like, like this, again, a nonlinear relationship. Um, so, so that's, uh, that's uh, the regression that we might uh, estimate. Um, now we can think about uh, how we interpret that regression. So we have uh, y equals 4 plus 1.2 log of x. So we're asking the question, how much does a change in x, a, a delta x, affect y? So to answer that question, we construct two predicted uh, outcomes for y. y when the x variable, x variable just takes on x, and, and then y when the x variable takes on a value x plus delta x. And then we take the difference of those two, y2 minus y1, is going to be equal to this expression, because the, the 4s are just going to drop out. Uh, and then we know that uh, 
this, and you can look in Stock and Watson's textbook to uh, confirm that, uh, we know that the difference between log of x plus delta x and log of x is approximately equal to delta x over, over x. So that's why we have this approximation sign here. And delta x over x, uh, when we multiply that by uh, 100, is what we call the percentage change in x. So delta x, the change in x over x, is when multiplied by 100 is just the, the change in x. So when delta x over x is equal to 1, then we say that's a 100% change in x. Um, and that's right. If, if x is equal to 5 and it goes to 10, so that 10 minus 5 is 5 divided by 5, it's equal to then 1, uh, going from 5 to 10 is a 100% increase in uh, x. So, with that interpretation in mind, we can see that our regression tells us that a 100% change in x, that is a, a change in uh, the log of x of, of 1, um, leads to a change in y of 1.2. Uh, so, more normally, we, we write that a 1% change in uh, x is associated with a 1.2 divided by 100 change in y. Um, so, it would be associated with a 0.012 change in y. Uh, if what if we estimated a, and got a different number, y equals 0.27 plus 47 log of x? Well, we would say that a 1% change in x is associated with a 0.47 change in y. Um, that is a 100% change in x is associated with a 47 unit change in y, or 1% change in x is associated with a 0.47 unit change in, in y. Now, uh, speaking of other uh, log transformations, we could have transformed the y variable uh, and turned it into the log of y and estimated a regression like this uh, with specific numbers. Maybe we'd have the log of y equals 5.2 plus 0.03 times x. So how do we interpret the coefficient on x here? How do we interpret this 0.03 now? Well, we'll say that a one unit change in x is associated with a 0.03 times 100, a 3% change in y. So when we have the log of y, the outcome variable, we interpret the coefficient on x uh, as uh, the number multiplied by 100 being the percent change in y that's caused by one unit change in x. And finally, if we estimated the log of y uh, and the log of x in our expression, so we have both transformed as, as logs, so for instance we have the log of y equals 0.42, plus 1.7 times the log of x, now we interpret that 1.7 as being uh, the effect of a 1% change in x uh, is now associated with a 1.7% change in y. So you have three different ways of having log transformations of our regression. The explanatory variable x can be turned into logs, the outcome variable y can be uh, transformed with the log expression, or both can be transformed with the log expression. And for each one, we'll interpret the coefficient slightly differently.